and the other method is you multiply it will become quadratic equation you will get two roots seven persons can be arranged in seven factorial ways but two places are fixed and five factorial means what five into four into three into six letters can be arranged in six factorial ways but first it should start with f and end with d np3 means start from n and expand three terms Welcome to the session, dear students. Today, we'll go ahead with permutation combination, session 2. So, x is 2.1 problems, 2 markers. Find the value of n if np5 equal to 20 np3. So, they give np5 value is same as 20 times np3 value. So now you know NP5 means N into N minus 1 into N minus 2 into N minus 3 into N minus 4, 4 terms. Or can I rewrite this as, that implies, can I write it as NP5 divided by NP3 is equal to 20. If NP into NP3 bring it down, it will become divided by NP3. So now NP5 means 5 terms, N, N minus 1, N minus 2, N minus 3, N minus 4, total 5 terms divided by NP3. What is meant by NP3? 3 terms starting from N. N into N minus 1 into N minus 2 is equal to what? 20. So now simplify N minus 2, N minus 2 cancels, N minus 1, N minus 1 cancels, N, N cancels. We are left out with N minus 3 into N minus 4 is equal to 20. Now you can solve this quadratic equation or you can do inspection. You cannot take n3 because it becomes 0. Start, you can't take n4 also. Start n with 5. If I take n5, 5, 5 minus 3 is 2. 5 minus 4 is 1. So it will not. So take with c. So inspection you can do to get n or other method is factorization. So n is equal to 6 if I try. 6 minus 3 is 3. 6 minus 4 is 2, 3 2 side will become 6, so it will not match. Try n is equal to 7, 7 minus 3 is 4, 7 minus 4 is 3, it will become 12, this will also not match. Try n is 8, 8 minus 3 is 5 and 8 minus 4 is 4, 20. So by inspection you will get n is equal to 8. So by inspection, by inspection, n is what 8 you should start with greater than 4 because 4 minus 4 becomes 0 i tried 5 i tried 6 i tried 7 i tried 8 and i got it because 8 minus 3 is 5 8 minus 4 is 4 so 5 into 4 is 20 that's it and the other method is you multiply it will become quadratic equation you will get two roots in that one will satisfy one does not satisfy so <coughs> the same part we can also solve from here. So I told you that much is correct. So by inspection, n is 8 without inspection. If you don't want to inspect, if you want to conclude, uh, conclude by solution. So if you want to conclude by solution, multiply. So if you multiply, n into n is n square minus 4n minus 3n plus 12 is equal to. So minus 20 is equal to. So from here, but you can multiply and solve n square minus 7 20 it will become minus 8 is equal to 0 so now what are the factors for minus 8 so for my factors for minus 8 are minus 8 and 1 and 8 and 1 so if i add i should get my multiply if i get so minus 8 minus 1 if you add you'll get minus 7 so i can write n square minus 8 and minus n minus 8 equal to 0 factorize this so n if you take common you'll have n minus 8 and here minus 1 if you take common you'll have n minus 8 is equal to 0. So n minus 1 into n minus 8 is equal to 0. So this will give you two results n is equal to 1 n is equal to 8 n is equal to 1 is not possible n is equal to 8 is possible. So n is equal to 1 if you take it will become negative value n cannot be uh, n if you take 1 it will become minus 3 and minus this. So, 1 P5 is not possible. Always N should be greater than R. So, therefore, I have to take 8. So, if you solve, you will get 8 like that. R by inspection already I got. So, both methods are correct. 
next in how many ways can seven persons be seated in if two persons are always occupy the ends so two people are seven people seven persons can be occupied seven persons can be arranged in seven factorial ways but two places are fixed so we have only five places so in five places we can arrange them in five factorial ways so now five people so now if i take seven boxes 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 5 seven people can be arranged in seven boxes but this ends are occupied by two people so i am left out with what five places so in five places and five people so answer is five factorial ways five factorial ways means what five into four into three into two into one five fours are twenty three so sixty two is a one twenty one twenty different ways we can arrange then in how many ways three boys and four girls can be arranged in a row so three boys four boy, four girls means total seven people in a row but three boys should be together three boys should be what together so consider three boys as one unit consider three boys as one unit and we have four girls four girls can be arranged in so now we have four girls plus one unit. One unit means three boys is equal to five. So these five can be arranged in five factorial ways. So total number of ways are total number of ways. Total number of ways. Five factorial ways. Because four girls no restriction, but this should be one unit. One unit always comes together. So five factorial ways. And they told always three boys should be together. Three boys, B1, B2, B3, that you can arrange again in three factorial. Five factorial into three factorial. If you want to simplify, simplify or leave it in factorials. Then in how many ways the words in the words Kerem be arranged so that two R's are always together. So, you know, in the word Kerem, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Six letters can be arranged in six factorial ways, but these two are together. So, consider two R's. Two R's are taken as one unit. Are taken as one unit. So, therefore, total we have. So, other than this 4 plus 1, 5 factorial ways, 5 factorial ways you can arrange. And 5 factorial means what? 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. 5 4 is a 23 is a 60, 2 is a 120. Then, and there are 2 R's, again you no need to arrange them into R, R factor because R's are both R's are similar. Now, in how many ways the words can be arranged from the letters of the word friend? So, which begin with F and end with D. So, now, friend should begin with F and F, R, I, E, N, D. We have total six letters. Six letters can be arranged in six factorial ways. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six letters can be arranged in six factorial ways, but first it should start with F and end with D. And other than these two, we have how many places? One, two, three, four places. So out of F, R, I, E, N, D, six letters can be arranged in six factorial ways, but first place and last place is filled. Now I am left out with only what? Four letters and four places. So therefore, Total number of ways, total number of, total, how many words, total number of words is equal to 4 factorial ways. Why? Because I have 4 places left in between and 4 letters left. So, 4 factorial ways. What is 4 factorial? 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. 4 3s are 12, 2s are 24. Then, NP3 is to NP2 is 3 is to 1. Find N. So, NP3 
is 2 means divided by NP2 is equal to what? 3 by 1. They want you to find N. NP3 means start from N and expand 3 terms. So, to become N into N minus 1 into N minus 2. 3 terms. Denominator NP2 means N into N minus 1 is equal to what? 3. 3 by 1 means 3. N minus 1, N minus 1, N, N cancels. I have N minus 2 is equal to 3. And N is equal to 3 minus 2 goes that side. become plus 2. N is equal to we will get 5. So, NP3 is 2 means divided by NP2 is equal to 3 is to 1 means 3 by 1. NP3 means start from N, expand 3 terms by decreasing 1 each. N, N minus 1, N minus 2, 3 terms. NP2 means expand 2 terms. N, N minus 1. How many four digit numbers can be formed from the digits 0, 2, 3, 5, 7? So, total 5 such that no digits are repeated. They want four digit numbers. Four digit number means I will put four boxes. Four digit numbers. See, but first place cannot be occupied by 0. And digit should not, first place 0 is not allowed. So, in first place, see, we have four digits. So, first digit, second digit, third digit, fourth digit. First place you can fill 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Total 5 digits they give. 0, 2, 3, 5, 7. But I cannot fill 0. So, first box can be filled only in 4 ways. And second box, any 1 I will fill. Second box again I have 4 ways. So, out of the numbers, 0, 2, 3, 5, 7. Other than this, I have four ways. I will fill any one. So, again I have four ways because including zero. So, again I will fill any one number. Then I will have three ways. Then I will fill any one number. Then I will have two ways. We call this as what? Fundamental principle of counting. So, therefore total number, total, how many four digit numbers? Total four digit numbers are Number of four digit numbers are total four digit numbers are four into four into three into two. Four into four into three into two. So two threes are six, six fours are twenty-four. Twenty-four into four. So four fours are sixteen, four twos are eight plus one ninety-six. So I hope all of you got it. First place, four ways, any four numbers other than zero. So, because total 5 numbers are there. After you fill any one number, we will have 4 numbers. After you fill 2 numbers, we have 3 numbers. After you fill 3 numbers, we have 2 numbers like that. Next. How many 3 digit numbers ending with 7 can be formed? So, number digit should end with 7. Formed using the digits. See, please understand. They want how many 3 digit numbers. So, put 3 boxes. 3 boxes. See, they should end with 7. They should end with 7. So, here, here you have to fill only 7. Only 7 can occupy this. Only one way you can fill the last box, units place. And the first place, so after you fill, and digits cannot be repeated. So, you already filled 7. So, you are left out with 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 digits are there. So, the first box can be filled in 4 ways. And second box can be filled in 3 ways. So therefore, fundamental principle of counting, 4 into 3 into 1. So, 12 numbers you can form. Therefore, how many 3 digit numbers you can form? So, you can form 12 3 digit numbers from 3 digit numbers means 3 boxes. And 3 boxes you have to fill what? 1, 2, 5, 8, 7. But they should end with 7. So, last box only one way of filling. The other. So, 12 numbers you can, 3 digit numbers without repeating, ending with 7 you can form. Answer is what? 12. How many ways can the letters of the word Hooper can be arranged? So, Hooper, H O P P E R. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 letters are there. How many ways you can arrange? So, if 6 letters are there, you can arrange them in 6 factorial ways if there is no repetition. But you can see P repeated twice. P repeated twice. So, therefore, n number of letters are 6. In that, P repeated how many times? P repeated 2 times. So, therefore, therefore, number of, they want you to find what? How many ways you can arrange? Number of ways, number of ways is equal to 
n factorial divided by p factorial n factorial is 6 factorial by 2 factorial this is the answer you can leave it here or simplify this 6 factorial by 2 factorial 6 factorial means 6 into 4 into 3 into 2 factorial divided by 2 factorial cancels 6 4s are 24 24 into 3 3 4s are 12 1 3 2s are 6 plus 1 72 72 ways so 72 different ways of arrangement of letters are there if anything repeats that comes as denominator here p repeated twice so two factorial no other letter repeated carefully if you see one two three four five six six are there out of six letters two letters are repeated total six n factorial divided by two repeated so two factorial so now how many six digit numbers can be formed from the digits one two three four five six no digits are repeated how many six digit numbers can be formed and that sh they should be divisible by five. Six digit numbers means first I will put six boxes, six places. So units tens, uh, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six digits. Units tens, hundreds, thousand, ten thousand, lakhs. So now how many six digits can be formed but they should divisible by five and digit should not be repeated. So if in this numbers one two three four five six if number has to be divisible by five it should end with five. So this box can be filled only five. So this box can be filled in one way. What is how many ways are the filling how many ways of filling units place is possible only one way that is by filling five. Remaining we have five digits and I have filled five. So remaining one two three four five. 5 numbers are there, 5 places are there, 5 factorial. First box can be filled in 5 ways. After you fill any one, 4 ways, 3, 2 and 1. So that is 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 into 1. Multiply. 5 4s are 20, 23 is a 60, 62 is a 120. 120 ways. Okay. So now I explain the concepts of permutation and combination. Please sit and revise this and become thorough. Thanks for attending. I'll see you in my next session. Thank you.